Sorry. I've been meaning to do this for a long time, but have been too busy. You never noticed my gradual slide into despair. Nor did I at first. We were both too wrapped up in ourselves. Too involved in our jobs. Neither of us are the person the other fell in love with. I look at myself in the mirror and I don't recognize the person looking back at me. I don't know who she is or what she wants anymore. I've become a lost soul, feeling my way through the darkness, bumping into things here and there. You were one of those things I bumped into. I remember our first date. It rained heavily and he used my umbrella to keep me dry. It was at that moment I decided you were the one I should let into my bed. I have no regrets. There have been no others. The rose you gave me that evening still fills my heart. It is my heart that has withered. But I can tell you my heart is beating fast now. Happiest memory? Eating fish and chips on that sandy beach, the sun warming my body, filling me with desire. A feeling of total relaxation, almost an out-of-body experience. Or maybe it was that time we made love in that heavy shower of warm summer rain in the field of ripening corn. It always rained at the key moments in our life. Thanks for those times, and many others are forgotten. I don't know which you remember or what are your fondest moments, but think only of the good times now. Things change, or we get older, I hoped we could bring each other happiness. Maybe we did for a while, but our enthusiasm has deserted us now. We just want to get to bed and sleep. Probably not your fault or mine. It's just natural in a relationship when you get too used to each other. Perhaps, if you could have given me a child, things would have turned out very differently. We would have had a reason to keep going. Like I said, sorry. Find yourself someone else when you get over this. My heart is empty now. Trying to think how to end. Nothing left to say. I feel calm and ready. I loved you. Remember the good times. Don't eat too much oily food. And change the bedding weekly. The washing powder is under the sink. When you find someone else, stay true to your dreams. Bye. Programme D for the washing machine.